Hey everybody, uh, I figured I'd just do a video, I haven't done one in months, so, um, I'm working part-time at a record store, so I get pretty sweet deals on CDs, so I bought 23 CDs, technically 22, because I bought one as a gift for a friend. Uh, didn't know if I wanted to get deep into Depeche Mode, so I figured I'd get this best of... I've never really listened to them uh, at all, but I kind of feel like my synth pop and whatever section is missing if I don't have at least one Depeche Mode. So, um, got that. It's kind of a best of their early stuff. Then we have Songs of Faith and Devotion, which is later stuff, which I know I, I dig his voice a bit more than um, the earlier stuff. Mary Fall, or Fahal, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, to the other side of time. This is the one that I got from my buddy. Um, I already have this. It's a really nice copy cutout, but still pretty awesome. Then I also got her Dark Side of the Moon advanced album. I, I've never seen the actual album, and this is pretty minimal artwork, but let's face it. If I really wanted Dark Side of the Moon lyrics, all I have to do is take out one of my three copies. Joe Jackson, live in 1980 through 86. So we have disc one is Beat Crazy, tour 1980. And Night and Day, tour 82 to 83. So these were uh, kind of listed as new interpretations of 22 classic songs featuring four different bands. Here's Disc 2, Body and Soul, Tour 84, and Big World, Tour 86. Same cover. Uh, Laughter and Lust, I believe. Uh, I was told this is the first kind of pop album that he did for Virgin Records. So I have like his er first five or six albums. I Love You. Um... This was a weird little alt indie rock band that were big in the 90s. Well, not big. Um, around in the 90s. I have their other two albums. There's one with like a little kid who has angel wings on the cover. That one is the, the best one of all of them. This is a live EP. I believe it has like five, six songs on it. Susanna Hoffs. I already have Bengal stuff, so I was like, yeah. I need to get this. I listened to it um, enough to realize that... I listened to all these enough to realize that I wanted them. I thought I had this Days of the New CD, but it turns out I had the other one that has kind of more of a red cover. And um, if you know anything about Days of the New, you know that all their covers look exactly the same. And all of their albums are called Days of the New. It's just ridiculous. Put at least one or two or something like that. One of the few Concrete Blonde albums I didn't have. I'm not sure why I didn't have this, but I did not. Crazy little band from, I believe, Michigan, Wicked Mariah. Their singer sounds a lot like, um, what's his name? Uh, Midnight from Crimson Glory. Hand of Fate, kind of a weird indie rock, kind of southern rock, kind of alt-country type band. Oh, here's where we get to fantastic Corey Hart. <laughs> I love Corey Hart's first defense. I, I thought, you know what, I have his first two albums, Boy in the Box, on a two-disc set. I have a single version of first defense, so I thought... You know what? I'm going to get Fields of Fire, Bang, Attitude, and Virtue, and Young Man, what does this say? Young Man Running. Thank God that's written on the case. That'd be gross if it was on the cover. Uh, here's a band for any of you Kiss fans. Harlow, or Black and Blue. Harlow had... Uh, Tommy Thayer on guitar. I don't think he had a ton to do with the writing, 
I think a lot of it was written by, let's see, Pat Regan. So they had a female singer, but uh, kind of hair metal y kind of stuff. I think this came out in 1990, yes. So and then we have Hooters, which was funny because I was talking to a friend the day before this came in and I grabbed. Nervous Night, which has uh, And We Danced, and then Zigzag. I got this without listening to it, because I was like, you know what? It's Reeves Garabiro, the sacred squall of now, and let's look at the artists that sing on this album. We'll talk about that later. All right. So Reeves, Gabriel's, uh, look, Jeffrey Gaines on lead vocals. Um, let's see here. Who else was on? David Bowie on lead vocals on a song called The King of Stamford Hill. That was enough to make me go, yep, yeah, I should probably get this because David Bowie also sings lead on You've Been Around also. So... Two songs with Bowie singing on. Sounds good enough for me. Frank Black sings lead vocals? That's crazy. Any other songs with wacky singers on? Let's see here. I don't see anybody else that stands out. Gary Oldman, running commentary. All right, let's talk about Goodbye Harry food stamp barbecue this is scott reynolds project from after he left all so he was the singer the second singer after dave smalley in all which is basically the descendants plus a different singer oh you got scott reynolds uh mike the pike on bass Artie on guitar and t dallas reed i think this guy went on to play drums in... No. One of these guys was in Wretch Like Me with the drummer from My Name. And last but not least, Frente with the creepiest goddamn cover ever. Jesus Christ, that's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just leave it at that. That is creepy. <laughs> 